past the convergence of the series n to the n over n factorial. Now next week I'm going to talk about general strategies. If you have this series, this is what test I would use. And what I'm one part of what I'm going to say is that anytime you have a factorial, it's usually a good idea to do the ratio test. Okay? So if you see a factorial, you should think ratio test. All right, so let's use the ratio test. I'm going to do compute the limit a n plus 1 over a n. So I'm going to start by replacing everything with an n plus 1. And then I'm going to divide by a n, which is what's up here written down, that's a n. So when I divide by it, I'm going to flip it to get n factorial over n to the n. Now every one of these objects here, this n factorial, n plus 1 factorial, n to the n, n plus 1 to the n plus 1, those are all positive. So we can immediately drop the absolute value because I don't have anything that's negative here. And I'm going to go ahead in the same step, since I'm dropping the absolute value, I'm going to organize my terms and group the like things together. Okay. So this is what I'm taking the limit of. Maybe you want parentheses around this, I guess, now. So for the first part, I'm going to make the numerator and denominator have the same power. So the one in the numerator, its power is larger by one extra number, right? So I'm going to pull one of those away. So I'm going to write this as n plus 1 times n plus 1 to the n. And then for the factorials, I would like for them to be the same factorial. So in the bottom, I have the bigger one, right? n plus 1 factorial is bigger than n factorial. So in the bottom, you can write n plus 1 factorial. I think I've done this before. Is n plus 1 times n factorial. And if it's, think of examples, I think the one I keep doing is 3 factorial. That's the same thing as 3 times 2 factorial. And now, you should see that some things cancel. This n factorial and this n factorial cancel. This n plus 1 cancels with that extra n plus 1 that was over here. So what am I left with? n plus 1 over n to the n. They both have the same power, so I can combine them into one power with a fraction, n plus 1 over n to the n. And now I need to calculate this limit. This limit is not as easy as the last one because my exponent is also involves n here. So inside my limit is still, the inside part is still like the last one, I think, right? It's 1 over, so it's 1, but then what I'm getting is my indeterminate form is 1 to the infinity. We don't know what that limit is. And so when you compute limits like this, there's a trick to them. So I wanted to show you that. Well, how do we not know that, uh, what it is? Because it's one to any power is one. 
but the inside is not really one. The inside goes to one. Yeah, yeah. It's just like when you have zero over zero. I mean, to zero over anything is zero, but the numerator and denominator are both going to zero at certain rates. Yeah. So I'm going to call this limit y. And my issue is the exponent. I have a problem with having the n and the exponent. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the natural log. here of both sides. And remember, limits will bypass continuous functions. So I can now interchange these two things, the ln and the limit. And now, because I have an ln there, I can use properties of natural logs and bring the exponent down. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to bring the exponent down. n ln 1 plus 1 over n. Well, if I look at the form of this limit, I'm getting infinity infinity times ln of 0, sorry, ln of 1, which is 0. Infinity times 0. That's not in a form I can use L'Hopital's rule on. So I move the n to the denominator in the following way. Limit ln 1 plus 1 over n. And now you're getting zero over zero for this limit, and you can use L'Hopital's rule. Okay, so I'm running a little short on time, I think. Yeah, so I'm just going to tell you that I use L'Hopital's rule. Okay. And when you do, you're going to get one for this limit. So you're going to get ln of y is one. But I really wanted to know what y is. So what would y be? y is going to be ln of what is 1? ln of e. So remember this y. This was my limit from the ratio test. What is e? e is 2.7 something. Is that bigger than 1? Yes. This is bigger than 1. So my series diverges. Okay.